Hi boys and girls, Miss Galvin here. So we're gonna do a lesson on comparing and contrasting today. Um, previously, Miss White and Miss Quig both did lessons where they explained what comparing and contrasting means. If you did not see those lessons, this might be a good time to go back and view them. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently though. We're gonna compare and contrast nocturnal and diurnal animals. So I have two different videos for you to watch today to learn about nocturnal and diurnal animals so that we can compare and contrast them. The first video we're gonna watch is on nocturnal animals. And here we go.
going to watch our video on diurnal animals. I was walking all around, all around the town. The time was getting late and the sun was going down. I saw a bunch of birds flying through the park. I asked them, where you going? It's getting kind of dark. We're going to our nest. We never fly at night. We're diurnal. We prefer to fly in light. We aren't bats or owls. We don't fly at night. We're diurnal. We like to fly in light. I'm di diurnal. I'm not nocturnal. I like the sunshine. Prefer to play in light. I'm diurnal. I'm not nocturnal. I stay up in the daytime and I go to sleep at night. Face. She told her she's diurnal like all the human race. I'm di diurnal, I'm not nocturnal. I like the sunshine, prefer to play in light. I'm diurnal, I'm not nocturnal. I stay up in the day, I'm gonna go to sleep at night. during the day and the night. Humans like you and me are naturally diurnal animals, although we can adjust our schedule to stay up late if we have to. For instance, if we have to work at a nighttime job, do you think that we could stay up at night and sleep during the daytime? That's what nocturnal animals like bats and animals do. Now, back to our song. I'm di diurnal, I'm not nocturnal. I like the sunshine, prefer to play in light. I'm diurnal, I'm not nocturnal. I stay up in the day, I'm out, I go to sleep at night. videos on nocturnal and diurnal animals and now we are going to compare and contrast them and Kyler is going to assist me today say hi hi so miss Quig and miss white showed you how to do a Venn diagram when they were comparing and contrasting and a Venn diagram is two circles that intersect on one side you would do nocturnal animals on the other you would do diurnal animals and in the middle you would compare them and put the things how they're alike, what they both have. I'm gonna show you a little bit of a different way to compare and contrast. So what you do is you're gonna have two different columns. In your first column, I'm going to put n, oc, t, er, no, nocturnal. And in my other column, I am going to put d, i, a, er, no. Oh, diurnal. So first, what you would do is right underneath your two different things, you're going to compare them, and that's saying the ways that they are alike. So how, Kyler, are nocturnal and diurnal animals alike? They both sleep. They both sleep. Very good. So then I'm going to put a little dot there, and I'm going to write sleep, because this is something that they both do. How else are they alike? They both are living things. Ooh, that is a good one. They are both living 
things because if we had a rock, for instance, a rock couldn't be nocturnal or diurnal, could it? Because it doesn't sleep. And that's because a rock is not a living thing. How else are they alike? How can we compare them to each other? Hmm. They both have mammals. They both have mammals. M and mouths. Do they eat? Yes. They both eat? Okay. How else are they alike? They both drink when they're thirsty. They both drink. Very good. They both have birds in them. Yes, they do. Because an owl is nocturnal, but a bluebird is diurnal. What else do they both have? They both have amphibians. Amphibians. Very good. Because am because an iguana is diurnal and snakes are usually nocturnal. Okay, so now what we do is we have two separate columns here and nocturnals on this side. So we're going to put how nocturnal animals are different than diurnal animals right here on this side of our paper. So how are they different, Kyler? Nocturnal animals sleep during the day and are up at night. Okay, so I'm going to put a little dime to put sleep. During the day, awake at night, okay? Hmm. They like the dark. Very good. Like the go with diurnal animals now. So we're going to have our other column over here and we're going to list things about diurnal animals. So now we are contrasting because we're doing what's different. So different is contrasting. Hmm. They sleep during at night. Okay, so sleep at night. And are awake during the day. Okay, that's very good. Awake During the day, they like the sunlight. They like the sunlight. Very good. Like the sunlight. Now, what are some animals that are nocturnal animals? So, nocturnal animals are hedgehogs, raccoons, and owls. Owl. Okay. Let's list two that are diurnal. Hmm. Diurnal animals are humans and yep. giraffes. Okay. Humans. What about dogs? Oh yeah, dogs too. Dogs. They can be both, but they are usually going to be diurnal. And so that a cat is what? Cats are nocturnal. A cat be nocturnal. Very good. So as you can see, we compared and we contrasted nocturnal and diurnal animals. And the way that we did that is we wrote down the things we're comparing and contrasting. Then our top column, what we write is we write all of the ways that these two things are alike. So we listed lots of ways that they're alike. And you do not have to write in a complete sentence when you're doing this. You can just do bullet points and list them. And then for different, you'd have two different columns. We have nocturnal on this side. So we wrote all of the things about nocturnal that are different than diurnal. And on this side where it says diurnal, we have a column over here and we write, this is our contrasting because it's different. We write all of the ways diurnal animals contrast to nocturnal animals. So boys and girls, I hope that you enjoyed your lesson 
on comparing and contrasting. I hope you enjoyed learning about nocturnal and diurnal animals. I know that I did. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.